All right, it is uh, Saturday, June 11th, 2.40 p.m. Just drove home after being out, and while we are out, it started raining, the truck got wet. It was rain, drizzle, whatever else. And if you can see here on the truck, a lot of the rain's already dried off on the way home because it was just intermittent. So here's our sample, three sheet of paper towels. Looks like background's a little higher in here all of a sudden because of this rain, but we'll see for sure. So what I'll do here is take the paper towel. Wipe up where there's water. You can see the background's definitely a little higher in here now. So this may reading this reading may have some heat on it. We'll see. Alright, there's the sample. That's oh, yeah, that's a hot one. Eleven times background, fifteen times background, eighteen times background, twenty two times background. 26 times background. This is a 30 second moving average updated every 3 seconds. 34 times background. 36 times background. Now, background in here is usually uh, 0.0077 millirems per hour. I round it up to uh, 0.01 for these purposes. So we're at 37 times background. So what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get another three sheets of paper and take a sample over here from the other side of the truck from the grill. Add some water. Thirty-eight times background. Wow. Thirty-nine at one point. Thirty-nine. All right. Here's a sample from the passenger side of the truck. It doesn't sound quite as hot. We'll see. And I'll take one more sample here from the roof of the truck. Let's see what we get. This sample is from the roof of the truck. Let's see if we can center this guy a little better here. Times background, 21. 26. 26, yeah. 30. I'm going to try to do 
one more here. Just a oh, good amount of water on the grill. 42. Wow, 42 pounds of background. That's crazy. It's hotter on the roots, that's unusual. Yeah, well, the roof was a little wetter. Hadn't all dried off yet. Let's see where this. Forty-three cuts back around. That was forty-four. Let's do an experiment here with this one. What I'm gonna do here is tip him up, and I'm gonna close the window in the back here. That means. We should only be picking up uh, strong beta and gamma. Strong beta and, and gamma emissions are five times background. Now what I'm going to do here is open the window back up and I'm going to use this paper towel to see if I can block just alpha. The uh, hard part here is always making sure I get right in about the same spot. So that's blocking all the alpha emissions there. So we're getting a beta and gamma through there. 20 times background. What I'm going to do is this time I'm going to take two sheets of paper. 26 times background. I think a shot here of the water on the nose. You see that? So I'm gonna wipe up the water off the nose here. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Usually I use three sheets of paper towels. This time I'm using two. It's getting a little wetter. You get it too wet then the water blocks the, the source. All right. So. This is the hottest one we have over there. This is from the grill area. Shield water here. Alright. So the 
nose wasn't as hot. Let's compare that to what we get from the windshield. And so again, this was all just light drizzle. Times by crown, twenty four, thirty one times by crown, thirty four times by crown, thirty six times by crown, I don't like this. <laughs> so, yeah, thirty eight times by crown, thirty nine times by crown. And uh, data indicates that if you do look at the research studies, you'll see that prior to Fukushima, uh, anything over two times background radiation from a rainfall was considered uh, to be an indication of uh, man-made influences. So let's go back to... We got up to 49, didn't I? I don't I'll watch the tape and we'll see. So what you see is, is that you know, the individual water drops vary in their radioactivity. And the other thing is, is the water tends to attenuate the radioactivity, it blocks it. So here on the hood, a lot of the water had already evaporated off, which means that any radioactive gases that were in there, we're not detecting because they're already gone. Although, you know, that may be the reason why uh, background readings in here were higher when I started this. So we're at 39 times background now, about to break 40. Yep. 40 times background. So the, the drier the sample, the, uh, the better your chance of uh, reading the actual radioactivity not having the water absorb it. Now let's try something I haven't done before. And that is, is we're going to stack all these guys on top of each other. We'll see what, if anything, that does. That means we're only getting alpha radiation off the very top piece and the rest is beta and gamma. Important thing is, do not be in the rain. Saw some guys holding up signs for stores, you know, 20% off sale when we were coming in. And uh, they were out standing in the drizzle. It's not worth it. So 49 times background. 50. This is, this is not the hottest we've had it yet. No, this is, I mean, this is a misting drizzle. <laughs> 